in today's video let's discuss about the cable tray routing layout some basics some concepts along with the uh, some practical uh, field uh, that uh, that means site photographs i will show you uh, i'll try to make you understand how the cable routing is uh, being done and how to be implemented at site so oh, let's start from the cable tray routing layout drawing first so as you can see here in this drawing this is the this is the plan drawing where we have uh, we have put in a um, uh, project we have we have shown the cable tray routing here so this this colored uh, line this is the cable tray this is the cable tray and uh, again this is the plan drawing i will show you the section as well so from the plan drawing we can we can identify the cable tree tag numbers from here these are the cable tree tag numbers and these are the branches how how the routing is done throughout the throughout the building and and also yeah these are the branches and there are some reducers also some t joints these are t joints this is a, a cable shaft because this is the floor opening cable riser or cable shaft is going on and this is the cable vault yeah so this is the section this is the section uh, interestingly if you if you watch this very closely here from from bottom of the tray from bottom of the tray to the next uh, next tray bottom this is uh, 300 mm this is 300 mm 300 millimeter gap is there so this is to be maintained minimum 300 mm gap to be maintained and this h uh, this h is for the high voltage cable this uh, l for the lv cable and c for control cable this is l and s low voltage and signal cable it is explained uh, as a table also in the tabular format yes you can see here in the in the table what you can see let's say this is the root number 1tz dash r01 this is number of trees two numbers total two numbers trays are there what is the tray size this is 600 mm so there may be 600 standard cable tray sizes 600 mm 900 mm 300 mm 450 mm there are some non-standard uh, cable tray size as well as uh, as a mutually agreed uh, uh, with your client or purchaser you need to uh, get the approval but these these all are the standard sizes 600 mm 600 mm cable tray 300 mm 900 900 mm cable tray these are the very standard sizes or almost all the manufacturers are manufacturing this uh, cable tray size okay and this is the elevation elevation of bottom tray at what elevation uh, those cable trays are installed purpose this is the this is the uh, purpose means high voltage cable low voltage cable that means high voltage power cable low voltage power cable or control or signal cables so these are the purpose so in this way in this way cable tray cable tray uh, tagging uh, is done okay so this is 300 mm gap as already explained here this is 300 mm from bottom of tray to the next uh, bottom of tray this is 300 mm yeah if we go back to uh, this you know this uh, cable tray routing plan drawing yeah so these are the branches now these are the floor opening floor opening 600 
by 600 mm floor opening is there so through this floor opening that cable riser or cable shaft uh, may be there so from one elevation to another elevation uh, let's say from one floor to another uh, floor that uh, cable tray will run this is also floor opening 600 by 600 mm floor opening you need to provide uh, the requirement of the floor opening size to the civil department so that they can consider that uh, that much uh, floor opening otherwise after casting that uh, floor it will be very difficult uh, to manage that situation so before casting you need to provide that uh, floor opening size from electrical floor opening or wall opening you need to provide okay now just to now just for the better understanding what i have promised here i will show you some practical example what uh, what uh, actually done at uh, site so let's move to this photo here as you can see this these are the tray as uh, you can see this is ladder type cable tray these are a rung and uh, this is the ladder type cable tray one two three four these four are ladder type cable tray for uh, electrical uh, power cable high voltage or low voltage power cable and and this bottom tray is the perforated tray which is used for uh, control and instrumentation or signal cable and here this bottom of tray to the next uh, cable tray uh, bottom this is 300 mm 300 mm gap is maintained here also this is cable tray earthing earthing arrangement yeah so based on the site condition we need to elevate or we need to reduce that height also because there will be some hpc duct there will be for a firefighting line this red color uh, this is firefighting line so we need to avoid the uh, all the foulings this is a uh, panel bottom entry uh, bottom cable entry just for easy reference i am showing you this is uh, earthing arrangement cable tree earthing arrangement this is earth bar this is a ceiling mounted cable tray support you can see there are there are different routes are going on and these are the unistrut unistrut cable tray support structures galvanized this is panel bottom cable entry this is wall opening wall opening and after cable pulling these are sealed this is wall opening yeah so i think some uh, some sort of uh, brief or knowledge you have gained from this video thanks for watching